What's up folks? Today I will be answering the mystery of the suede. That is, we get a lot of questions about uh, where we get adhesive suede, how do you put it on a holster, how do you, you know, wrap a holster with it or whatnot. Um, we've tried a variety of things. Uh, we've tried like those like uh, dashboard wraps and, you know, other kinds of adhesive suede and um, we haven't gotten so far as getting rolls of it and applying our own adhesive because that's a hugely time consuming process that we don't really have the time for and we're also not particularly interested in getting that involved in it. But we've been uh, doing some testing and whatnot in terms of uh, being able to supply you with those little patches and you know, uh, exploring uh, wrapping holsters in suede uh, to see what kind of results we can get. And funny enough, the uh, best source we've found so far, I'm sure you guys will do additional resource and find something better than this, but um, what we've discovered is that people who dance um, apply suede to the soles of their shoes, which we thought would be an extremely durable uh, solution for something like this, considering that that's going to get a lot more abuse than uh, your holster just being carried in your pants will. Um, and they uh, ship it with this uh, 3M 300 LSE self-adhesive uh, on there, which is really tough stuff, and uh, we've been happy with the results so far. Now be careful, because they don't know that we're telling you about this. Um, don't overwhelm these folks <laughs> with orders, because I think it's going to come as a shock, but we get it at this place, souls2dance.com. Um, it's probably more expensive than we should be paying for it, but we uh, don't really have the time or the wherewithal to get involved in making our own adhesive suede, so we're getting what we can get. So we're just going to do a little quick demo today on how to do this. So I've got this tan stuff here, which is just to illustrate, you know, contrast in the video, so you can see what we're doing. And uh, so step one, cut your sheet of Kydex, uh, make sure it's nice and clean so the adhesive works really well. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply this beforehand because the heat really uh, does a number on the adhesive. It helps it flow a little bit better. And then when you put the whole hot thing in the press together, you get good definition even through the suede. Um, my recommendation is don't do this on the inside of the holster because you could potentially create a circumstance whereby you wear down the suede through uh, you know, practicing your draw stroke over and over again. And in the event that it does delaminate, it could delaminate such that it causes a negligent discharge when you reinsert the gun into the holster. So this is for external use only. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, going to put this guy face down here. I'm going to peel off the adhesive backing clumsily. Just going to get that corner started. Gonna peel off the backing. I've tried doing this a number of different ways. This stuff is pretty tenacious. Um, I've tried doing this a number of different ways and it's just easier to lay this guy out. Oh man, some fierce stuff. And then I'm going to take this guy and put it directly on top uh, of the suede. Lay it down really nice. Press that down like that. And then just take something and, uh, do I have a scrap of something sitting around? I'll just grab one of these bad boys. And I'm just going to essentially squeegee that on. Make sure that there's no wrinkles and no air bubbles. What I'm gonna do after I've done this is I'm just going to throw this jammer in the oven and form it like normal. And when we cut back after that, I'll show you what the form looks like, and then we'll show you bits and pieces of the assembly process. It's pretty much the same, but with just a small, couple small differences. All right, so we've got our shell out of the press. One thing to be aware of when you're heating it is that many of you know that the Kydex likes to grow and shrink in relationship to the grain of the material uh, as you heat it. Now, adhering the suede to it uh, inhibits that a little bit and so in response it may curl so you're going to want to use your a convection oven uh, and be careful about how you heat and cool it especially the first couple times you do it so it's come out uh, now 
what you can see, I don't know how well this is showing up, is that we've uh, got some good definition. It's not like lifting or peeling yet at all, and it shouldn't since it's relatively new. And I'll just show you uh, bits and pieces of how we uh, process it down. So the drilling can be a little bit tricky. Um, what tends to happen is that the, the drill bit might fray this uh, suede material a little bit. And additionally, the adhesive uh, behind the suede can also trap the, those, uh, those uh, shards of plastic. So what's good to do uh, when you're done, once you've got your holes, just sort of go back in there and like give these guys a quick brush out, clear any debris from inside the holster, and just give this a quick uh, ream. The holes don't have to look perfect because remember, you're riveting or screwing them together such that any small frays of material will be uh, obstructed by the final construction of the holster. So don't worry too much about how clean these holes look because you're going to be uh, securing them or finishing them otherwise. That's the hardest part about this. What we'll do is we'll come over here, we'll show you how, how well it cuts. We're going to be using the uh, band saw for this. And I'm going to do this one with the uh, red dot optic cut for demonstration. So you can see this guy's looking pretty gnarly, right? Don't be worried, because what we're gonna do now is that the sisal wheel is gonna do a really good job of cleaning up these edges and uh, sort of blending that uh, fiber away and uh, making it look a little more seamless with the, uh, with the Kydex. Now, after that, I don't typically use a buffing wheel that has any compound. Uh, because that's going to potentially stain the uh, the suede pretty pretty bad. So what we'll do is we'll just use like a a, a regular un you know clean wheel for that. But uh, what you'll see here. All right, cats and kittens. That's uh, how to do a suede wrap holster in a nutshell. Here's our uh, finished uh, product here. One piece of advice, however, I was only using this uh, tan suede for demonstration because we've got a couple samples of it left over. This stuff behaves differently than the black insofar as it seems to be kind of like furrier and more stubborn and getting a good finish on this is a big difficulty. Uh, so to the degree where I'm not even exactly happy with the way this one came out. However, if you'll come in here, the black takes a much better finish. It makes a much cleaner edge along here and it uh, cleans up and seals much more uh, uniformly than the tan does. The tan is kind of a nightmare to work with and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, however, the black works great and uh, I think it looks a little better too. This kind of looks like uh, ugly furniture, I think. Um, but at any rate, yeah, like I said, <laughs> Be careful, I don't know if they have <laughs> enough of this stuff in stock to support uh, the uh, demand that might be created by this video, so uh, be gentle with these people. Um, and if you have a better source, let us know. But uh, yeah, that's the easy peasy suede wrap holster. So get to it and make good stuff.